Harry S. Truman was the 33rd president of the United States. He served as president from April 12, 1945, to January 20, 1953. Truman also served as vice president and in the United States Senate. He became president after the death of Franklin Roosevelt and during World War II. Truman is the only president to be from the state of Missouri. Truman was born on May 8, 1884, in Lamar, Missouri. His father, John Truman, was a farmer and also sold horses and other animals. His mother, Martha Truman, helped out around the farm and took care of the children. Harry was named after his uncle Harrison Young. When he was young, he lived on the family farm in Grandview, Missouri, and moved to Independence, Missouri, when he was six years old. When Harry was a young boy, his mother realized he had poor eyesight. During a Fourth of July event, the sounds of fireworks startled and excited him, but he showed no response to the colorful sparks that filled the sky. His mother then took him to the doctor, and he got glasses. These glasses kept him from playing sports and other outdoor activities. Because of this, as a young boy, he spent time reading, playing the piano, and learning history. Harry went to school in Independence, Missouri, and it was at school that he met his future wife, Bess Wallace. After graduating from high school, he worked as a timekeeper on Santa Fe Railroad. Following his railroad job, Harry and Vivian, his brother, worked at the National Bank of Commerce in Kansas City, Missouri. His salary in 1902 was $45 a month. In 1906, Harry's father asked him to come home and help out on the family farm. Harry agreed because family came first. Harry Truman was a good farmer and helped his dad out in the family business for 11 years. Harry joined the Missouri Army National Guard in 1905. He served in the National Guard for a few years, but when World War I started, he wanted to serve his country overseas. Though he was technically blind without his glasses, he memorized the eye chart, passed the test, and was accepted for active duty. On March 30, 1918, Harry went to France. While he was training for the war, he became a captain in the army. His unit was Battery D, 129th Field Artillery. Harry and his men did a good job while serving in the war. His units fired some of the last cannon shots in World War I into Germany. After he returned from fighting in the war, he married his girlfriend Bess Wallace on June 28, 1919. Harry was 35 when he got married. The Trumans had one daughter named Margaret. Harry also teamed up with his old army buddy to open a haberdashery, which is a man's clothing store near Kansas City. In 1922, Harry's store went out of business. He had already wanted to serve in politics and was elected judge in Jackson County. While serving as a judge, Harry helped the community in many ways. His reputation for honesty and integrity became widespread. Truman did such a good job as judge that he decided to run for the United States Senate. He won a seat in the Senate in 1934. He went to Washington D.C. and spent time learning how our government works. While serving in the Senate, he carefully watched defense spending and saved the country around 15 billion dollars. And people in Washington thought he did a great job. Because of this hard work and honesty, Democratic Party officials encouraged President Roosevelt to consider. Truman as his vice president in the upcoming 1944 election. Franklin Roosevelt won the election, making Harry Truman the 34th vice president of the United States. But the sudden death of President Roosevelt on April 12, 1945, made Truman the president. Barely into the job of vice president, Truman now became president of the United States. I felt the moon. 
the stars, and all the planets had fallen on me, he told reporters. As President Truman had to deal with the ending of World War II, he met with leaders from other powerful countries to help decide the future of Europe. Truman also gave the order to use the first atomic bomb in history against Japan. One bomb was dropped on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, and the second bomb was dropped on Nagasaki on August 9th. The bombs killed as many as 140,000 people in Hiroshima and 80,000 in Nagasaki by the end of 1945. Japan surrendered on August 14, 1945, ending the war for the United States. The U.S. under Truman's leadership also helped rebuild Greece and Turkey by giving them money and support. The United States Air Force, as we know it today, was created while Truman was president. Even though Truman did a lot of good things as president, by the end of his first term, people were not real happy. He almost lost to a Republican from New York, Thomas Dewey. The 1948 election was very close, and some newspapers said that Dewey won even before all the votes were counted. However, Truman won and went on to serve a second term. During his second term as president, Truman had to deal with many problems around the world. He was president during the Korean War and the rise of communism. He was also a strong supporter of equal rights for all Americans. When Harry Truman was done being president, he retired in his hometown of Independence, Missouri. Truman died on December 26, 1972. He was 88 years old. He is buried at the Truman Library in Independence, Missouri. Harry S. Truman was president during some of the most difficult times in our country's history. He always tried to do the right thing and loved his family very much. I think Truman was one of the best presidents our country has ever had.